Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is K. Jamal Jones. This is Ro TRS. Ro TRS. And today's topic is Renal and Corey. My, my, my older cousins are married to uh, two dudes, um, Renal and Corey. And I know they're probably sitting there like, yo, you know, why this dude got my name <laughs> on his video? Like, what's going on? But I really wanted to highlight these two guys because it, it really speaks about um, what it means to just be, you know, a, a person that's just a, a good hearted person. And I have a tremendous amount of respect for both of them. And, um, you know, when I, when I talk about, um, you know, what it means to, to, to just be like a solid person, you know what I'm saying? Like I think about these two dudes Now I could have picked, you know, any names, but I, I want to highlight them specifically because, they are, are are dudes who, when I see them, I give them a pound, give them a hug, we talk, but we don't have to have real long, drawn-out conversations, and we don't have to really sit there and have really anything to say to each other, but the thing that I noticed about both of them is that they love my cousins, and it's not a, you know, public display of affection type of love, it's not an overt, uh, you know, loud presence type of love but it's a quiet strength and confidence and security that any relationship should have you know and when I think about those two the only thing that you could ever wish for for a family member is that when they are involved with someone whether it's a, a husband or a boyfriend or even just you know friendships you want them, if you care about them, you want them to be around people who are just going to do what they say they're going to do, you know. And, and these guys are definitely uh, men who, 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 who show who they are by how they carry themselves. And I think now in this day and age, you know, we have individuals who would like to live off of their professional titles and... Instead of them allowing their professional titles to last for eight hours during the workday or 16 hours if you get stuck at work, they want their professional title to happen at the barbecue. They want their professional title to happen at the bar. They want their professional title to happen at the, at the baseball game. They want their professional title to happen in every phase of their lives. And the reality of it is, is that regardless to whatever your job, your profession, your business is, you are not your job title. You are not where you work. At the end of the day, you are who you are without any of those things. Because the reality of it is that you can lose a job. You can lose a professional title. You can have a failed business. Things at your place of work cannot work out sometimes. So my, my question about that is, is that if those things break down, which they do a lot of times. People are losing their jobs every day. Does that mean your identity is gone because now you don't have that same job? Now you don't have that same business? Now your money is not as tight as it was at one point? Now things are a little shaky on the home front? Does that mean because you lost those things that you lose yourself? And you know what's crazy? The sad thing about it is that, yes, to some people, when they lose those things, they do lose their identity because they, they never you know, we're, we're able to distinguish the difference between who they are and where they work, who they are and what they do. And when, when there's a situation like that, that's a huge problem, you know? So this video is a, is a shout out to all the Renaults and Corys out there who just take care of their business. You know, I'm not saying that they're perfect men. I'm not saying that they're walking around without faults. All I'm saying is that they take care of their business. They do what they're supposed to do. They love their families, and they're just thorough dudes all the way around. You know what I'm saying? And those guys and anybody like them needs to be saluted because at the end of the day, there's not a lot of people walking around being confident in who they are for themselves. So with that being said, I want to say thank you to everyone who subscribes to Kenyon Jones on YouTube. We're grateful for the support from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I want to remind you to always, always, always rock out with the rock stars. Thank you for watching, and God bless.